Alright, so welcome back to another Dragon Fable fashion video. Today we're looking at another thing for the Rift Walker called the Atria Dream. Now, the reason why I called it this is because all of the gear that I'm using is called the Atria Dream, so I might as well. Alright, so I did say last time, but obviously we can't get any customizations for the Rift Walker. Uh, this one looks like in the fight mode. I really like it like this, actually. Um, I remember last time on the other one, I was saying now you couldn't really see the sword. But on this, you can see it a lot better. Um, so, yeah, it, it just looks a lot better in the fighting mode than the other class did. Uh, but either way... Alright, so I will have to remove my wings really quick. Because it overlaps with the uh, menus. A big issue with Dragon Fable, but I guess you can't really get around it. Um... Either way, so the armor base color is 1B222E. Um, it gives off this dark blue. It was very hard to pick the a good color that went with this weapon. Like, everything that I selected was kind of like a bit of an off color. So I tried like every single color on this uh, sword to try and make it like correct. But that's the best I could get. Um, I think it goes with it pretty well. And the armor trim color is 00365C, uh, which gives this a uh, light blue sort of look to it. Um, after I color picked it off of these uh, light blue swirls, but it's a bit darker, but it still goes well because um, it just does anyway, I think. So I really like this. Alright, so for the gear that I'm using, uh, we're using the Atrium, the Atrium Dream Edge. Which is this really nice sword. I love this weapon. I think it's the one of my favourite weapons in the game. I would say. I just love the way it has this sort of space animation in the background. I really love it. Uh, I'm also using the After Dream Wings. Um, I don't really like these wings a ton. But it does go with the um, sort of appearance. It was the reason why I chose to use it. But they are very cool. Uh, and my helmet is the Atri Dream Helm, which I'm not a huge fan of, again, but it does look good with the whole set, again. Alright, so all of this is part of, like, a big set. Uh, so if we go down to book three, and into the Tomic Saga, Pearl of Village, and go to Tomics, uh, go to the Void Ship, and then board the ship. So this is part of the quest line that we, um... Well, it's part of the Tommy Saga in Buck 3. I get to try Thrill or whatever it's called. And then Quest. And in this quest, you can get like a weapon drop. Now, the weapon drop will either be uh, the sword, the dagger, or the staff. Um, obviously, I've got the sword. You can get either way, either one. But at the end, there'll be like a, a shop, a dragon kind shop, which way you can get the wings and the helmet. Uh, just say no. Alright, so that's it for this one. Um, I've got a couple more ideas for the Rift Walker, but I think it now will take like a, another little break from it. I've got a really good one coming up for the Ranger, which I'm really happy with. Um, well, I think, anyway, I haven't really put it together yet, but I've got some good ideas. Uh, but either way, um, Rift Walker again, we will go back to Dragon Lord stuff. But I don't really want the series to be only Dragon Lord stuff. It's just too easy to make stuff on the Dragon Lord, and it's easily the best class to customize um, stuff on. Uh, but either way, the link for channel. See you on the next one. Bye.